Hey guys, it's Rebecca. Um, it's Saturday, August 19th. It's the 19th today. Um, yeah, I thought I would do a quick update video. Um, <clears throat> let's see. This one particularly is about like weight loss and the weight loss surgery and stuff like that. So, um, I finished all of my prerequisite uh, appointments um, a week ago on Thursday and so I had called to speak to the nurse this week and um, was told that I needed to speak to another nurse so she called me on Thursday um, and I had a couple more things that I needed to submit which was no big deal um, and then I would be good to go so she called me yesterday um, and probably gave me some of the best news which is that I'm being booked for my pre-surgical class um, and then the next step after that is meeting with the surgeon um, and the day that I meet with the, the surgeon I will buy my shakes and the surgeon will tell me how long I have to be on the shakes for most people are on for about two weeks but the surgeon decides it's based on your size um, any concerns that they have that sort of thing so I'll know kind of what that looks like when I meet with the surgeon and um, then it's the anesthesiologist and then it's surgery day. So um, I had said to the nurse that I was super anxious um, now because of course this process started last October and here it is August and um, it feels like it's been so long in the making and yet at the same time um, I feel like everything right now is just going super quickly and she did say you know the the longest portion is the portion that, that I've already been through which is getting through all of the prerequisite appointments and then this part will go really fast so I'm super excited to see what that looks like moving forward um, I'm also super nervous but I think that I would be like I think there'd be something wrong if I wasn't nervous because you are kind of going in for life-altering surgery <laughs> you know it's it's not a minor surgery it is a major surgery um I've waffled with the the idea of getting the surgery for so long thinking like oh if I could just try a little harder if I could just move a little more um if I could just do this this much then I would be okay and I wouldn't need this and um, <clears throat> I think I mentioned it in a previous video but as a dietitian at the clinic said for some people yes um, eating a little less and moving a little more that works for them um, that seco mentality um, the calories in calories out kind of thing um, for some people that doesn't really work um, because of the different disorders that they might be facing or the way that their body works so um, and because for me having the PCOS and being on the end of people with PCOS who um, struggle with constant weight gain and things like that like um, I have had times where I was super strict with my diet would lose 20 pounds and couldn't lose anything more I've had times where um, I lived in a controlled environment and I was able to lose 80 pounds but as soon as I moved outside of that controlled environment and still tried to keep what they were doing I gained all the way right back and then some so um, I think the kind of important thing is um, just being easier on yourself and stuff and I have really high expectations for myself and I know like this is what I want to achieve after surgery this is where I want to be this is the size I want to be and I think the hardest mentality for me is getting outside of the if you don't achieve those and somehow you failed so you know my goal weight has always been to be 150 pounds and five five and a half um, and I believe that even still puts me at being um, in the overweight category but I did have a doctor confirm that 150 pounds would be um, a really healthy good goal for me um, but then I feel like you know if I hit 170 I don't want to be like depressed and disappointed and upset because I didn't lose that extra 20 pounds and therefore I'm a failure and this whole thing's been for naught um, you know I just need to keep reminding myself that the focus needs to be on the things that have changed or the things that I can do better um, 
And I think that's a struggle for most pe most people. The, the biggest battle you face is the battle that goes on in your mind. Um, and so that, I think, is going to be my biggest challenge during this process. I'm excited to see what's going to happen in a year from now. Um, from the point that I get surgery to a year after that, I think it's going to be um, an amazing journey. I think it's going to be full of ups and downs. I'm hoping to, you know, document all, if not the majority of it for you guys, um, because I think it's important to share these things um, with people so that they can they can know that they're not alone if there's a certain struggle or um, if there's another woman going through PCOS and, and having similar struggles to what I've had. Um, then maybe she can see this as an option or a ray of hope for her. So um, that's kind of like my goal in all of this, I guess. Um, you know, and I'm just looking forward to being able to do so many more things. So um, I know like my husband and I want to go back to Disney and I'm excited to do that and not be um, as heavy, um, which would make it easier to walk around the parks and stuff because um, Disney is amazing and they make their rides accessible for everybody so my weight didn't restrict me from riding any of the rides but it definitely was a hindrance to like walking around the park and feeling fatigued and um, getting overheated really quickly um, although I've always struggled with that ever since I was little and I wasn't super overweight when I was little either so um, heat may just always be a thing um, but of course it's definitely amplified when you're a plus size person um, you know, I'm really hoping to see some of those um, health benefits kick in and just the, be the ability to, to do things, to travel, to experience more of life. Um, you know, I did have someone say recently that for my size, I am probably one of the most active um, people they've seen at my size. And it's because I refuse to, to quit. I refuse to back down and not live my life. Um, but it is a struggle. Um, and it hurts and there are days that I cry because I want to be able to do all of the normal things um, you know my husband's going a bunch of our friends are going to a theme park and my husband and I were both invited to go um, and I told my husband he should go because I can't ride all of the rides so I wound up standing for the whole day um, you know I may be able to like play the splash pad with, with the kids and with, like with my friend's kids um or play like in the the wave pool and stuff but I mean it's forty dollars is a really expensive ticket to just stand around so I'm not going um to that um and it kind of makes me sad because I want to have those experiences with everybody and not be left out and not be um standing on the sidelines. I want to be in the middle of it. I want to be able to ride roller coasters or, um, you know, go down water slides with everybody and be having those experiences and, and that fun. Um, so I'm excited. Anyways, so I wanted to give you an update. Things are progressing pretty quickly. Um, it'll be interesting sort of what happens in the pre-surgical class I'm excited to share with you guys what I learned there what that all looks like and then when I meet with the surgeon um, I'll have a date and I'll be able to share that with you guys yay so I'm hoping that'll happen here in the next couple of weeks I know at our hospital I have a friend who works at our hospital and she was saying they're booking um, into September now so I'm really hoping to kind of get into that September one of those September dates that they're booking for so uh, if you're thinking about it keep me in your thoughts and in your prayers because of course there's lots going on and um, there's lots of anxiety and stress that can come around these kinds of things um, and I'm really hoping to be able to have the surgery here in my hometown um, because if I can't have it here then I have to travel uh, two to three hours to get it done somewhere else which would increase the cost of getting the surgery so I'm really hoping that um, we can go ahead with the surgery here in our hometown and that way um, we're not having the cost of travel and hotels and everything else and it's just um, the cost of the shakes so uh, if y'all can be praying for that that would be awesome and amazing and I'm so excited um, to share with you guys my next update. Alright guys I hope you're having a great day. Take care.